Okay, again, for a re quick recap, this is going to be part three of this uh, Moshe um, energy of 34, okay? 31, I think we did 32, 31, 32, and 34 or something like that, okay? But, again, a recap. So, this is basically making me think, again, masculine, feminine, however you want to go ahead and flip it. These people are teamed together some kind of way or have connections, okay? behind the scenes <clears throat> possibly even with the masculines they're connected some kind of way but like I said the head would be different than the body just like we see Biden and we see the administration okay so again these people in this administration are running amok okay in the kingdom basically they are basically these queens of cups these other queens these lesser gods right and when it comes to Israel and the Holy One of Israel, now you're talking about them trying to overshadow ones that are greater than them. All right? In the kingdom. All right? Sons of God. These are sons of men trying to exalt themselves above the sons of God, the natural indigenous particular people with Moorish and Islamic mannerisms and laws or whatever. Okay? them having some type of jurisdiction so this is putting the moon energy above the sun all right because but if we think back about the sun you're going to think about oh this came with christianity but no we have the soul sol energy from um most the moshe people in south america from mexico and that energy all right so again these most like these one part or party of this could be righteous and one could be unrighteous, right? Somebody could be abusing their power and authority in high places, right? So this could be masculine, feminine, whatever. Energy is trying to use daughters as pawns or pentacles or... You know what I'm saying? That kind of energy. Money making something, right? Keeping the full profit, okay? For whatever is done in the dark, okay? Or this could be also like... These females that are jealous of the relationship between these earthly fathers and their daughters. Some of these fathers may be protective over their daughters. They may be jealous over their daughters. So I'd rather have somebody that's jealous with me being exploited... Than somebody that wants to exploit me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I feel like a king in his kingdom. If he has these daughters. If this is in a different kind of way. right, Or mistresses or women or whatever. He's not going to be like trying to. You, and like I said this is again. A nation. Can go as only, only as high as their women. You know what I'm saying. Pretty much are valued. So that's, that's what I'm saying here. But it's, it's seemingly though. Because some of these people that may have been degrading the women in this sense may not be your people. They may just be in the likeness of your people. And this is why you wonder in certain communities and neighborhoods why there's some killers and there's some that are not. Because again, we think we're dealing with all the same people, but our traits and customs and culture, cultures and things are different. There's some of us that couldn't even think about, you know, besides fighting with your fist or... You know what I'm saying? Maybe a motherfucking stab wound in the 70s or something like that. But you know what I'm saying? And maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a gun for protection or something. But like the amount of people that are actually dying, right? By gunshots in some of our communities. You have to question, are we all the same? All brown skin folk ain't your kin folk. All right? And again, like I always say, we have more of a chance of being harmed by someone that is in the likeness of us walking out of our house than a police officer on any day. I hope you get what I'm trying to say here. Because at some point in time, we have to pay attention. We have to face the things that we do amongst and to each other within the community, with, within this whole generaliz generalization of, like, you know, calling each other brother and sister but it may not be that way all the time that's why again if you notice in certain communities in the ghetto or whatever families stick together it's the bloodline you know what i'm saying somebody messing with somebody you got a motherfucking problem with the whole blood and you'll notice that even within certain there was large families within your neighborhood and stuff like that but it might have been some animosity always between this family or that family or that family you know what i'm saying with us i think it was maybe like <clears throat> but i think there was like some crossing there because i think there's gates 
on our on my side of the family somehow, right? But there was this this um energy between me and this girl, um, this other girl named Gates, okay? And then also, I don't know, like I said earlier, I brought up Kevin Gates, okay? So again, but we, we are our, our ancestors, but to a certain extent. Some of us don't plan on doing the same thing or making the same mistakes or making the same treaties. You know what I'm saying? So again, this is the whole energy of not letting Israel protect itself or herself. Not letting us have a word. Everything we say has to be monitored and ciphered. You know what I'm saying? Or or minimized, right? Or even just not giving them the proper educate the proper information to run a kingdom. And that's why I keep telling y'all. Something told me a higher power was telling me that these individuals were sent in here to help me learn or help me see. Like you already got the goods, but we're gonna help you structure it with you know, different like law, you know, laws or whatever, okay? Or different treaty, you know, like different agreements or something, settlements or something. You know what I'm saying? So it feels like that's what it started off as being, but I feel like somebody got into some other kind of energy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it has something to do with sexual immorality. How, look at how you want. It could be tantric, like some kind of, you know, f f kind of encounters like this, all right? That seem like it's more abundant because it's more and more people involved in things, uh, polygamy. You know, many wives and shit like that compared to, you know, just one person. But in a, in a sense, Source made his stock a certain way that once you get it, you don't need nothing else if you treat it. You know what I'm saying? If you do it right by it, it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? A woman is supposed to multiply whatever it is that you have, right? So most of the time, men are financially stable. If he approaches a woman and he falls in love with her or whatever and she doesn't have as much as he has financially, that should be fine for a real man. Okay, because he's going to know this woman and he's going to know the value of this woman and that she's not somebody that, you know, again, let's look at the gold digger energy or some, she's not somebody that's not like that. So this is why, why Source made these women more multitasking. They can do many things. You know, my grandma can do all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? She taught me how to do stuff. So, and, you know, these people are like multitaskers or jacks of, you know, a jack of all trade energy. This woman is going to multiply everything that you have because of the skills or the way that she... You know what I'm saying? She operates on a more natural basis. You know, somebody that can make something out of nothing, right? What they call it, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> Some shit like that, all right? So, mm, all right? But again, when we talk about sons of men or daughters of men, they seem to be a little bit more high maintenance. Not to say there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying this not to say, so it's making me even think about Mary as a sovereign queen and then Queen Elizabeth as, you know what I'm saying, the one with the royal, you know, I mean, with the goods and stuff. Even Marie Antoinette, let them eat cake. She was spending money on jewels and shit like that or whatever, and the people were starving or didn't have enough or whatever. And so, you know what happened to her, all right? Also, sons of God are going to be able to know how to tap into this energy of having a natural high. There's nothing wrong with marijuana to me. It's a pot. I mean, it's a plant or whatever. Okay, but you know, some other, um, some other groups may be, you know, dependent on that other energy. And then when we think about that too, it's like, how does it melt? How does it smelt? How does it go together with these people being watchers of men or watchers of women or watchers of sons of God, right? to learn the language or the lingo or the way they operate so that they can do it, but they cannot do it all the way. So usually this keeps them making some kind of deal with these people to keep them in some type of servitude because they don't realize that these people really have no jurisdiction over them anyways. And they should be cut out, out of the land and removed if they don't want to do things the way that Israel is going to do it, especially when it comes to the Holy Ones. These are people that are authentic. They don't need to, you know what I'm saying? They may like to like to they might want to be with you they might want to you know what i'm saying but again they already have everything that they need that inner alchemy all right that's something that's a brewing 24 hours a day this is why that that temple was supposed to be chosen to be with god when whatever was built because it knows how this fuel it, this fuels itself that that um fossil fuel or that fuel that that's something that does it all the time here they, they, they mesh well with the air, water, land, and fire on in this particular place. This is why they're going to always be abundant in nature or naturally. Okay? This is why these other people usually get like a, a heads up or 
a head start when it comes to accumulating land and resources because you know what I'm saying they're not it's not naturally just given to them in the land they have to learn how to way to use sanctions and mandates and stuff to manipulate the situation and, and take over okay laws lies these type of things instead of the commandments or what, what can we even say when it comes to what we could say is law is the the constitution okay but anything with con in it you know what i'm saying and once you research that uh you know what i'm saying it make me um <clears throat> it just make me wonder all right hold on one second all right this is why they tend to like to mammify these women right and make them more you know what I'm saying? Like they are just good for laying on their back, having babies, you know, and all these other things. It, it's not. And the other thing that separates that is education. Education means training. Okay. Is to get rid of that natural something ability that we have to comprehend and replace it with training to have you train the mind to think some kind of way here. Okay. And so. You know, education is honored above all, but a lot of times people lose themselves, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to these certain occupations, these certain types of education. And they think they won't, they know more than na uh, nature or what's natural. Like, okay, so even you talk about the city mouse, right, and the country mouse. You see what I'm saying? The country mouse is going to be more resourceful. If everything was to shut down today, the country mouse is going to be able to know how to operate. The city mouse, you know what I'm saying? And it's almost like that kind of vice versa. Like when people go off to college and come back and they the first one, you know, people kind of treat them funny. And they seem like they've been, you know, ostracized, okay? So it's almost like the same thing with those who have been chosen and have been anointed and have these gifts. They tend to be ostracized and used as a cash cow. Same thing with the person goes off to college. They seem to be ostracized. And then, you know, a lot of people want want to think that when they come back home with their nice cars and things like this that you know what I'm saying they got it like that you know but they have the same struggles probably if not more than the regular person okay so but then if you think about it, it's like the more money the more problems because the more investments the more you know keeping up with the Joneses the more that kind of energy okay um, where, you know, most of the people that are in country life, they know how to have whatever they have on their land for a long time sometimes. You know what I'm saying? They have know how to utilize it or upgrade when they need to. You know what I'm saying? It's not no, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Back in the day, it was like people was miles away from each other, so you didn't really have to try to one-up each other. You know what I'm saying? So, um, let's think about it. All right, let's see. So that was just like the little rant that I wanted to go ahead and make the difference between, okay? So anybody can be... A son of God is just about your works, your mannerisms, the way you think, the way you operate. Same thing with sons of, you know, a son of God that's naturally of God can be also come become a um, son of man. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on how much are you going to mold or be subdued or change yourself to fit a narrative. So this is why society honors those who look flashy on the outside, but maybe rotten to the core on the inside. Same thing, vice versa. Okay. It's, it's, it's just a whole, I mean, it's just really simple when you look at it, okay? And again, just because somebody go to college and everything like this don't mean that they are rotten to the core. It doesn't mean that they are materialistic. It doesn't mean, you know, so you, you see what I'm just saying? It's a general notion of like, if we go ahead and gather it up and look at how, how society looks at this whole thing, all right? Then you'll kind of see, all right? Most of the time when these people... Maybe go off to school. They may not think it's cool to hang out with the same groups or to sit in the same type of neighborhood that they used to grow up in. They may turn their nose up at it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes. Not all the time, but I'm just saying in general, okay? Same thing when you got, got a city mouse and they come, I mean, a country mouse and they come to the city. They might feel a little intimidated by the flashy things that people have. And they might, you know, again, they might turn to that lifestyle same way. Somebody might see that it's a little bit more at ease when it comes to the country. So they might want to transcend from, they might go to school, do all these things, but then they actually want to go back to, you know, a more simpler way of life. You know, it, it's, it could be any way. It's about your spirit. Okay. And energy. All right. So <clears throat> let's see. Let's see what else is saying here. All right, so it says, um, let's see. All right, so again, I would have to make a treaty. Okay, so again, this may be why some of you with your twin flame situation may feel like, you know, somebody is not giving to you, okay? 
why like today i was asking like everything was perfect everything was good but again infiltration or covetedness okay someone comes along it's almost like ooh, like on dumbo when they had their little circles circus and everything but that high-end person from new york and his woman came in you know what i'm saying but at the end we seen that the woman did have a heart you know what i'm saying and i think she helped the people at the end get back together or get where they needed to go but it's almost like that energy of somebody coming in and saying, yeah, just come with us. That's like a treaty. You know what I'm saying? Let me help you spiff this place up or whatever. But like I said, the devil is most likely in the details. Um, so it's kind of like that kind of energy. They show up in a shiny car and everybody's like, "Woo, oh my goodness, you know. And so again, or clothing or whatever. And I'm just, these are just, you know, just certain narratives that I'm trying to like, you know, allegorical incidents that I'm trying to like compare here. Okay. So again, um, right. And it's almost like that too. Be careful not to make treaties to those that are in the land, but these are the people that care about the land the most. You know what I'm saying? Why not? You see that they want them to make treaties with these people, the outsiders, you know, is also, I used to watch this show called outsiders with those people that lived on a mountain and that oil company wanted their mountain. Right. And so they were poisoning them. I mean, it was just like, if you really just think about it, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that energy. Okay. Yeah, for they prostitute them, themselves out to gods and sacrifice to them, okay, and invite you to eat their sacrifices, okay? So I don't know. Like I said, I'm not going to be going all the way into that. You can take that how you want, okay? But I feel like this is stuff that has been, these are rumors. These are probably, you know, rumor has it. Like, these are people speculating or whatever, okay, about these particular people. Maybe even because these people had a lot of different children. If you think about... um. The census, I've seen something about the census. I guess they said there was a miscount or something with the census last year or in 2021. I mean, 2020. But if you think about it, on a census, you know, this is that Papa was a rolling stone. There was a higher power involved in this when it comes to these masculines or these, you know, these men, you know, going from place to place. Even some of the women were traded off from place to place for their their children. OK, their spawn or their, you know, what I'm saying their them being fruitful. And if you think about it, to go back to those days. And some of those women were high priestesses. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Dealing with these, these men. All right. And then these 16 and 15 and 21 children. You know what I'm saying? So again, you know what I'm saying? Within bloodlines and stuff like that, you might all have the same last name and everything like this. But there's family secrets. There's things that happen. There's things, children in between. You know what I'm saying? So again, it's very important not to get so stuck on those particular things. You know what I'm saying? At this point in time. Okay. It just drives more div division. I look at people because, you know, their works and their energy, dude. All right. <clears throat> All right. So again, eat their sacrifices. All right. Yeah. I don't know. Like this could also be, you know, like I said, this could be vice versa. This could be somebody warning of those particular people. Okay. That they, they eat their sacrifice. Like, they they do these things, sacrifice these people, and then they end up reaping the benefits, you know? Like, what groups do we know end up doing stuff like that, okay? And I feel like this is a part of that brother going against brother, sister against sister or whatever, because they're going to find the cash cow or the one that's most sought after and, and kind of offer them up, right, as the scapegoat or that energy here that can be defiled or whatnot, okay? And most of the time, it's like because they don't like whatever energy you're carrying. You're different. They want to call you crazy. They want to do this. They want to know what's going on in your household. You know, it's that kind of thing here. And usually these people have already had a well-off life until like for again with this, until this intrusion or this other connection started coming in, the spiritual divide or whatever for the past two years, you know what I'm saying? Things were kind of like fine, but you know, I'm not sure because now I'm starting to see other things on a different level that I might not have seen then. Okay. That I see now that I have to question, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Who have we been dealing with this whole time anyway? You see what I'm saying? All right. So again, it says don't make any idols. Okay. But the thing is, are these idols telling people not to make idols? And they've already made, they've already idolized themselves. Right. Okay. Or is this Israel saying don't make any idols? Don't make no, like if you do go to these other lands that you're going to, don't make no kind of whatever with them. Okay. This is also like that almost America great again. It's like. Focusing on America, like even if you go to, 
you know, these places don't make any deals with them. So like it's making me think about what's talked about in the media right now when it comes to Russian oil and other foreign oil and da 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 And then here in the Americas, I'm talking about all the way down from the Ruta to the Tuta, that we have oil, we have resources, we have things here, but we're depending on other countries for those things. OK. And again, that's also talking about daughters prostituting themselves out to other gods. These are women that, again, spies like I look at these these women as like Russian spies or we don't even have to use Russia as an example. But certain spies sent in by different, you know. Fathers, and it's almost like calling them out as in, you know, you're 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 um you're not of God, you're you're of your father, the devil, which again, it depends on how you want to look at it, right? Not saying that all of these leaders are devils, but I'm just saying a devil could be, if you think about D-Ville, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's just making me think, I don't know why I was thinking about crew at the ville or like um, a village, like D-Ville, like these people are not a part of the village. Like, I don't know, villa or something. Okay. So anyways, let's keep moving. <clears throat> So this could be, like I said, this is teetering going either way here, okay? Um, this is me telling in, uh, our people here, the American Indians that was lied to about being from Africa, m which is most of us, um, don't go making any deals. Now, that don't mean that you can't be with these people. That means you probably can't even marry these people. But I'm just saying making deals with these people, you know what I'm saying, it's, it could be a dangerous game. When throughout, like I said, from all the way up from Canada or whatever, down to, you know, the islands, there's plenty of resources here. Like out of all countries or all land masses, I know they say it's seven continents, but I see two. If a continent is some a land mass that's uh, surrounded by a body of water, then I only see two. OK, so again, we talk about the Americas, you know, what I'm saying it, it's different than other places, if you think about it. I mean, I guess it could be the same, but we have our tropics, we have our islands, we have, you know, it, there's not really that many popular islands off of the other land mass, if you think about it. Most of the popular islands that people want to visit are in the Americas, okay? Um, let's see, celebrate the festivals of unleavened bread, okay? So again, this may be a celebration of, you know, unleavened bread. So again, leavened bread also, like I said, is like, just bland word, okay? Where again, high priestesses and those who can see and those who can find themselves in this text are gonna always speak with leavened bread. So I don't know why somebody would want them not to because it's make it's make it's like taking the the chlorine out the conversation, okay? Mm, okay, or or again, those additives or as salt of the earth because even when I talk about salt of the earth, we talked about that with uh, more uh, not Mordecai, but uh, don't tread on me, the don't tread on me videos that we did. Um, and, and we talk about the salt of the earth being, you know what I'm saying? Those additives that have been added in. So if you think about that, that's foreign energy. If you think about that, that's the illegal immigrants that are coming into the land right now. Also, you know what I'm saying? That are sent in to, you know, do add something to the yeast, but it may be something that doesn't let the yeast of the, you know, of, of the earthly people grow. It seemed like it's getting fluffed up for them, almost like the seven of pentacles, is, is it? Wait, three, four, five, six of pentacles. It's almost like that energy where there's not evil, give, evil, equal give and take. OK, it seems like these people, I think I've caught that portion of Biden's speech today that says something about, you know, these migrant people or some people that are coming in are bringing in, you know, abundance and they're taking these jobs and they're doing. So, again, that is dangerous for Americans. You know, I don't know what that sound like to you, but like this is the person that said in a while that, you know, so-called black people are going to have to depend on other minorities and stuff like that that come in. All right. So if you think about the Perez's, the, the more Amorites, the Perizzites, the Havitite, you know what I'm saying? This energy here. OK. So, again, this is also making me think about, again, somebody maybe pushing them out. OK. So this is someone that also it, it honors the indigenous energy here. But again, I guess they also want to be over those indigenous people that can really, with a little bit of training, do it themselves. OK. All right. So. Yeah, for seven days, eat bread made without yeast. OK. It's saying that somebody's commanding this to them. OK. Do this at the appointed time of the month of Aviv. I don't know what month that it, I, don't, I don't even want to guess. OK. I was going to say May, but I'm uh, I'm not I'm going to go back and see. I can't remember. Okay. Maybe you guys know. Okay. It says for that month, you came out of Egypt. Okay. 
So again, you know what? This is making me think about birth here. Okay. Maybe, hold on. Let me just go see. Okay. This, let's see what this is talking about. I'll go back to it. Okay. You know, birthday, birthday. I don't know. Um, February. I don't know. Because if I switch off of this, I'm not going to be able to get back to it. But it's making me think, or even 9th, September maybe, okay? You know, and this could be also the energy of someone trying to keep somebody in Egypt or a lower form, but they were already raised out of Egypt because of consummation or something, again, a long, long time ago. So again, this would have gave this person the right to be a queen or rule, you know what I'm saying? Um, but they didn't get that right, okay? Somebody took that or hid that from them, okay? <clears throat> hmm. Maybe because the maybe because of the <clears throat> the abundance or the dowry would go out to the man. Um, because I noticed that some things like again, some people would get dowry and then try to run off on the bride, like right after. So this could also make somebody look bad or leave them as a single mother. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is what they're gonna be trying to do now with some women. You know what I'm saying? Why this is immaculate conception, whether this is somebody letting somebody have access to you when you're not aware of it, or this is something else. You know, it, it makes me think of that energy. Okay. It makes me think of that type of energy. And maybe if they couldn't subdue you or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Or use you up, you know, until they get their fill. Okay. And then, you know what I'm saying? Take using a wand or a page of wand energy, fill you up and leave you behind. Okay. Yeah. A page of wands, somebody that is like in and out a messenger, somebody that doesn't have that much ranking here. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. All right. It says, um, of the first offspring of every womb, okay, belongs to me. Okay. So this might be also those that ascended first or awaken. This could be the ones that are the scapegoats or the, um, the elect ones. So this might also put these people under these ju jurisdiction. And this is, this is the real reason why they suffered at the hands of these earthly masters that they're supposed to honor. But if they're not honoring them and if they're not having time for them, then how can you do so? You see what I'm saying? And it seems like, you know, the masculines had it under control. They were doing a good job. It's just when these feminine connections and energies came in, I feel, um, you know what I'm saying? Or vice versa came in. This is when, you know, it started to get kind of ugly. Okay. All right. So again, the offspring of every womb belongs to me, including all the firstborn males of your livestock. Okay. Um, whether from the herd or flock. Hmm. So this makes me think about like organic or not, like immigrant possibly, okay? And then livestock makes me think about something that is living. So again, something that was formed by the Lord God, which I think is moon energy. Um, and But they use the DNA of that, of God, okay? And then they mold it and made creations or whatever in the likeness of these people and, and, and use them to, to, uh, to, 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 a lot these positions of power like I told y'all okay when it comes to this energy here it's not to be prejudiced or anything it's just if if America has more people that are again newly newcomers running things in high places and we wonder how Americans no matter what race or color you are or even Hispanics you know what I'm saying because they're natural born to this land you know so how they come last you see what I'm saying they become the minority Okay, when they are actually the majority, okay? If you really look at it, okay? So again, um, yeah, so the womb belongs to me, okay? Including the firstborn males of livestock, boom, boom, boom. All right, so it says, redeem the firstborn donkey with a lamb. Okay, so again, this may be also, you know, an ass donkey wisdom. You know, again, in the Apocrypha, when we talk about Solomon, or I can't remember what book it is, when it's talking about this donkey or wisdom is calling it a woman. You know what I'm saying? This, you know, but this also giving me democratic energy here. Okay. Um, with a lamb. Okay. So again, this is a, a lamb of God. This might be a sacrificial lamb. This be, may be someone that they're trying to sacrifice now. This could be also, this could be a real death or this could be a death to society here. Okay. But if you, re, if you do not redeem it, okay. Break its neck. Okay. 
redeem all your firstborn sons. So this also makes me think about, again, the first people that like no new friends is making me think about the first people that I came into this birthing energy with. Also, it makes me think about also people from your childhood, from your childhood, from your neighborhood or something possibly. But also, again, being the world card energy or in that energy, you know, for me, being an empress or a high honor or emperor or God, in a sense, I feel like this this is talking about for me, I'm supposed to have one of them, too. But these feminines have used sorcery and whatever, or both of them, when it comes to asterisk energy. Energy. Maybe that's why they wanted to kill off or break down the trees of asterisk because they didn't want her to be, you know, what I'm saying that particular type of energy, okay, where she has the all of these masculines that support her. All right, mind, body, and soul, almost to that extent here. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah. Okay. But again, break its neck. You know, I don't like the way that sounds here. Okay. This also might be also pertaining to these people trying to get the people that they brought in with them. You know what I'm saying? As overseers to break down. You know what I'm saying? They call them stiff neck people. But these might be, and they say, don't be proud. See, that's why I say be careful with shit like that. Because, you know, where are you going to get it from? If you're a son of God, I wish you would be coming, you know, begging or groveling on your knees for something. No, you're going to demand, you're going to say it and it's going to happen. You're going to be used to that being that way. And that's how you're going to operate. You know what I'm saying? So again, break its neck, okay? And redeem, redeem all your firstborn sons. So again, this is making me think about, you know, something that's strong, strong, strong. So again, until somebody breaks the neck, okay? breaks it down or and think about that when it comes to so-called black women you see what i'm saying and redeem all the firstborn sons okay but this redemption right here is making me think about you know what i'm saying some type of also ritualistic energy with some of these groups some type of penetration or something like a lot of groups you know what i'm saying entertain um certain rituals when it comes to young men dressing up even when it comes to muslim or um um kind of energy here I don't know exactly how far it goes with these people, but I guess they're saying because they honor their women or look at their women in a certain way that they rather have males dress up like women to entertain them. And that makes me wonder. OK, it just like I said, it makes me wonder. That's all I'm saying. OK. And then we wonder why certain things are going on within generation to generation when it comes to certain, you know, acts. OK, we'll just leave it in layman's terms like that. It said no one has appear before me empty handed. OK. So it's almost like buck breaking, okay? All right, six days you shall you shall labor, but on the seventh day you shall rest. Even during the plowing season and harvest, you must rest. So again, this makes me think about winter, okay? This also makes me think about six days you shall labor, but it's like, is somebody getting paid here? This sounds kind of like servitude or slavery, right? Because black people were never, so-called black people, American Indians were not slaves. They were prisoners of war. That's more, pertain. we did a video breaking down those terms, is more so when we're talking about somebody that was brought, um, that somebody comes into your land and takes it over and makes you a prisoner of war because of force or might or whatever, or war, okay? Um, love and war, okay? So again, that that's a difference there between just being a slave. The Slavic original form of that is talking about the Slavnik or Slavic people that came in from other places here, okay? Because I feel like the first, again, this is just what I've seen by my research, okay, is that the first people to own slaves was, um, you know, so-called black people, American, indigenous, autochthonous, you know, individuals, okay? That's why they say black people had, so-called black people had slaves too. But we have to think about that. Even when, we, when they were talking Africa, before we found out everything was going on here, they were saying, you know, Africans sold Africans. But we have to be careful because it was not that way, okay? Yeah, it, wa it was a lot more... Um, to go with that, especially when it comes to the first people that were coming into the South America, because those were like olive or lighter skinned women from North Africa that were coming over here, actually. All right. Um, let's see. So, again, that makes me think about, again, Havana. OK, parasites um, is making me like parasites is making me think about Puerto Ricans. You know, again, it's, it's just that energy. OK. All right. So, again. Um, celebrate, okay, weeks with the first fruits of the wheat harvest and the festival of the end gathering, excuse me, at the turn of the year, three times a year, um, all you, all your men are to appear before the sovereign Lord, okay? So I don't know, this may, 23, okay, Jordan, look, this is making me think like swoosh, okay? 
So again, this is three times a year, all your men will appear before the sovereign women. And it's just like that. Maybe that's the energy of that washed up. Not to say it like that. Okay. Um, King of swords, that alternative card of the King of swords that's returned to the person, but they're all tired out. They're all drained. Their money is gone. You see what I'm saying? Person come back. This is somebody that have always been good with their money and good with, you know, you built up this whole everything, this this nest egg with this person. And then all of a sudden they, they go off on one of these missions or something and they come back depleted. You know what I'm saying? Trying to keep up with the Joneses or trying to fuel the desires of these feminine energies. You know what I'm saying? That they portrayed their original women for and went and laid with, played with, or whatever the fuck it would, would be with. Okay? And then they want to come back to you with nothing. You see what I'm saying? And then, again, if you're an empress, a whole empress, then you call it a gold digger or you call some kind of, because you got some kind of fucking standards around here. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, nah, I just know who I am and I'm in. If it, if it ain't, if it ain't, I ain't even got to be getting it. You understand what I'm saying? If, if I can't find a man that has his values and his core values and everything all together that have done the work and, and gone down that journey of self and finding self, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so first of all, you ain't even got to have no money. That's more important to me than anything. All right. But to find somebody that that has that and has done the work, at least a lot of it. And then they also have, you know, they're financially stable. Who, what woman is not going to? I don't know. Not nobody with no damn sense. You understand? Especially when the empress, she is on a pedestal. So you better be damn straight that it ain't going to be no, it's, people may not agree with it, but you can't, you can't expect that because when you came in, you seen how it was, you know what I'm saying? So that can't be the real reason. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you better believe that she's thinking that she's going to be walking off that pedestal onto something that is e either the same, could be a little less, or that pedestal is going to be more, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be more abundance there. It's either or. I mean, I'm just saying it's either or. I always was saying, you know what? Oh, I got to make sure this is going to be a situation where everything is going to be cool. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to stay home with my children. Now, I have I was able to go beyond that. And you know what I'm saying? Then I want to focus on what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of this had to do with this, this awakening or this ascension or whatever. Okay? So, you know what I'm saying? Especially for a woman that is not really that, you know, hard to please. Right? They, they're more... Um, happy with gestures or affection or love or you know those kind of things of a connection truth loyalty honesty you know those things okay time you see what I'm saying so let's see but then again when they get pushed into the corner you know what I'm saying it seems like you know people want to go ahead and judge then no that's not the case it's not about being because you could somebody can run that word broke all the way up into they you know what but the whole thing is OK, that an empress don't really even, you know, she I don't know. It is kind of like a more of a holy cow energy. OK. Um, But she don't want to. She already running. Oh, excuse me. You could kind of look at her as like a commander in chief. Like she does this service mostly freely. Like she's been propped up to be able to have that vision or that sight second to God, right hand of God energy to be able to do that. So she's working, you know what I'm saying? Um, nonstop, like that song, you know, excuse me, by Levert that says like you men, we did a breakdown of it. You know what I'm saying? You got a good woman or whatever. You still treat her bad. And in the song, he's talking about she wake up 6 a.m. 6 a. She working all day. Because you don't realize you under surveillance. You know, this has just been over and over and over and over again. So it's a certain way you got to carry yourself. You got to do this studiousness. You know, again, I'm a little bit more reckless, you know. But again, you know, you, you're you practicing something here. A lot of times you don't have the things you need. You're under pressure about these things. They're putting these other women in front of your face. Making you feel something. Want to make you feel. Want to make you. Okay. Because you, you can only. They can You can only allow some. They're only going to do what you allow them to do. Okay. To try to make it like you missing out on something. You know what I'm saying? But if you know yourself and you know what you have been through to get here, then you'll be like, okay, well, that and then what? what what's, what's on the inside? You know what I'm saying? What, 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 you know what I'm saying? Almost like your soul. You know what I'm saying? All right? So, all right? Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing that. <laughs> you ain't, yeah, you ain't happy, girl. Everybody know. <laughs> 
But it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like the energy, like, okay, then we're, what's up? That's what I'm saying. Like, because most of the time, like I said, these women's happiness was taken away because they, they didn't really notice or maybe they did notice then. Maybe it wasn't, you know what I'm saying, that the person is not the same. Again, there's a stranger in my house, you know what I'm saying, that that person that you once knew is gone, like that part of them. So, again, it goes back to splitting the man in half or the boy in half, right? And, and one getting the one that is living and, and wealthy or, you know what I'm saying, well-rounded. And then, you know, send the one that they didn't already depleted and drained back to you. Like as if, you know what I'm saying? But it's not about money, but it's about survival in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's about it's about order in the court. You see what I'm saying? All right. So again, it says, um, and that's what I hate about that. Because people will say, look, that person is broke. They don't have, you could be more broke spiritually. Being broke spiritually is worse than being broke without money. You know what I'm saying? Any day for me. All right. Oh, she's just needy. They just need it. And see, I can see that whole narrative being played out right here and how men could probably be being misled. But then they get into these relationships with these women and then they find themselves depleted. She did. She's doing it. She's going to do the same thing. He or she is going to do the same thing that they said they, that you was going to do to them. And then they come back and see that you still, you know, a decent person. You're not trying to, you know, do nothing too much or whatever. It's just crazy because I can see the narratives loud and clear here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I just want to make sure it was still recording. Okay. Yeah, because it said, yeah, no one will covet your land. Okay. Huh. Go up three times. But this makes me think about three seasons. You know what I'm saying? When somebody wants somebody all seasons. So maybe this is a seasonal thing. And maybe that's why there's seasonal depression for a lot of women. Um, again, especially at home moms, because you're not, you know, either sometimes they don't have a man or the man that you did have is not there. You see what I'm saying? He's too busy spending money and going on this splurging or this mission with these these false idols or these women. Yeah. And these women end up the ones with the good. So, again, the Black Caucus energy here, okay? These are the women that end up with the, the when the masculine dies or passes away, these are the women that end up with access or knowing about these, you know what I'm saying, inheritances and these different things. And they just snap them up from right, right underneath you here, all right? Again, jail time, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what that should be, all right? <clears throat> it's, it's stealing, okay? And it may even be left to those women because they can trust those women. They may already know by then that they can't trust the motherfuckers that they went off with. Wow. Wow. Okay, this there's only a little bit left here. Mm. Okay, I'm and let me get something to drink. I'll be back. Okay.